Look at those stars up there. I wonder why God made so many. You could never see them all if you spent your whole life looking. Yeah, it doesn't seem like all of them could be important. I wonder what they're supposed to do. Maybe they are just there to serve God, like we do down here. What do you mean? Perhaps the best way to explain is to tell you a story. Not so very long ago, there was a very young and little star named Twinkle. I was so new out of our bed in school that I couldn't find my way across the Milky Way yet, much less through the universe. So I just sort of hung around, waiting for something to do. At this time, everyone in the heavens had been buzzing about the big event that was to happen. God's only son was going away to Earth to do something very difficult. No one in the heavens knew exactly what was going on, but special angels had been risen in and out of heaven with important messages for certain people on Earth. They could tell it was sensational because even Gabriel had to go. For weeks, the angelic chorus had been practicing a new song that said, Glory to God in the highest, and on Earth, peace, goodwill to men. Then one day, God called an all-star gathering. He made an announcement that he had one more job that could only be done by a star. God didn't explain what the job was. He just asked for volunteers. Of course, everyone lit up trying to outshine each other to get God's attention, so he would choose them. But way from the back of the galaxy, came one small sparkly star. That was me! Squeezing in between the others by bending a beam here and a point there, she finally twinkled her way right to the front. One of the more elderly and serious stars frowned at her and tried to shoo her away. But God didn't let him. God said quietly, Let the little one alone. Don't stop her from coming. Don't send her away. Then, to everyone's amazement, God chose Twinkle and told the other stars that Twinkle was just the kind of star he needed, ready and willing to do whatever he asked. Wasn't Twinkle worried because she was so little? Yes. She didn't really think she was big enough to accomplish anything. But she did so much want to be used by God. God wasn't worried about her being small. He said, little things can be very important when they're in my control. you are a kid, I wouldn't keep it hid. Just give your little life a try. Little is a lot when you're in the right spot. Little is a lot when you really have got it. So give yourself a shove, you've got help from above. A little light can be a lot. Just a little is a lot. Oh, just a little is a lot. So? So Twinkle said, I couldn't believe it, but I said right out loud, What can I do for you, God? We stars only come at night when everyone is asleep. God smiled and told Twinkle not to worry because the dark was the only place to shine. God said Twinkle was to be the special star that would lead some very important people to the place where God's son would be born. She was, but afraid too. 
She was shaking from point to point. Some of the other stars were jealous and said unhappy things to her like, You'll probably get lost. You're so little, you won't shine bright enough for anyone to see. Twinkle began to feel smaller and dimmer and more afraid. So she got together some of her friends to ask them what they knew about the coming birth. Mr. Meteor, who was always tripping over things, because, you know, a falling star said, Straight into the sky is what I do, so I've only had a fleeting dust or two. Sorry, I can't be more help to you. Then the Milky Way trio flowed by. We're the Silky Milky Way! We have come to say, 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 we've heard about Christmas Day, 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 and something about a stable and some hay, hay, hay. Oh, a stable and some hay? How odd for the Son of God. This was her first real information. Then her friend, Comet, streamed by and whispered, I bring happy cheers every few hundred years. I can tell you a secret that will calm all your fears. He told Twinkle that the man in the moon knew a big piece of the secret. Twinkle went directly to him to ask what it was. Mr. Moon, Mr. Moon, wake up! Oh, oh, hello, girl. What you be needing? Tell me what do you know about the stable and some hay. I'm the old man in the moon, and I know that the sun is coming soon. And is coming to the earth like a soft white lamb To the sleepy little town of Bethlehem fears. Now she was really frightened. Bethlehem sounded so far away, and she had never seen a stable. Her friends were still excited, though, so they went with her to tell her mother. Like most mothers when they're happy, she got all teary and hugged her close. Being careful not to knock off any stardust she might need, she explained to her what a very fortunate little star she was, but how hard she was going to have to work to be worthy. She joined the others in encouraging her. You're a very special vessel With a big responsibility to be bigger than you really think that you can be. You're going to be something really special. Everybody on the earth can see. You are a very special vessel with a big responsibility. And you're special special to me.
Unfortunately, as happens to so many of us, all of this excitement and attention began to go to Twinkle's head. Responsibility? Yeah! Girl, that's what I've got. Ability! I'm a special vessel and a super duper superstar! No, Twinkle. It's not your ability that's important. You must respond to God's ability to use you. Wait for God to lead you. But like small daughters, Twinkle didn't pay too much attention to mom, and she was too impatient to wait for God's instructions. She decided to go on to earth and check out Bethlehem so she'd have all the information she needed when God said it was time. Whatever it is, it's dynamite. It's, it's a, a star. star. Twinkle landed with a terrible thud right on top of Mr. Hill. Well, it is a little star. We're all wondering what you are doing here, that is. I've got a big responsibility. God's son is going to be born, and I get to light the way. I came down to find Bethlehem and figure out what I'm supposed to do. God hasn't time to tell me yet, so I thought I would do it myself. I didn't know the earth was going to be so big, though. It's just a little shining spot from where I live. Did you say God's son is finally coming? Oh! That's so exciting! I've been waiting for this news for thousands of years. Why? The holy writings say, The mountains and hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. I've been practicing all these years just to sing praises to him. Would you like to hear? <laughs> Yodelay, and praise. Yodelay, hey, hey. Yodelay, and praise. Yodelay, Yodel, yodel, yodel is a lot of fun. Yodel, yodel, yodel into God's son. Yodel, 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 his will is done. Yodel, 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 everyone. Shine. Sh sh shine. Yeah, you know, sparkle, glow. Oh, do you love to shine? How do you do it? Yeah, tell us. Yeah, how? What do you do? Well, you just do it. Try saying it with me. Maybe that will help. Sh ein.
Bethlehem. Doesn't anyone know where it is? Oh, Twinkle, I dearly wish we could help you, but I just don't know. Mother doesn't allow me out of the meadow. We just can't b b b bear to go so far from home. I know where it is. Carl, out of the way, squirrel. I'm not a squirrel, I'm a chipmunk. Well, nobody asked for rodent advice. I think it's quite a way. Even as a crow flies. Ha 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 ha. Get it? Ha ha. No, it's not. It's close. Shush, 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 shush. Gopher. I'm a chipmunk. Go, 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 go away. I th 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 think it's through the forest, Twinkle. Oh, dear. No, it's not that way. Car, move it, move. I tell you, Twink, it took me 15 big flaps and a long sword to the left. Well, I guess I'll just slide off that direction and see what I can find. Be careful, Twinkle. I hope you find your way. We'll be watching for you in the sky. Bye! Oh, bye! Bye! Twinkle. Bye! How come just because I'm little, nobody will listen to me? I know where Bethlehem is. I go there all the time for especially juicy olive feeds. But nobody believes me. Twinkle isn't such sweet stuff herself. And even she won't pay any attention to me. Well, so what? I can be happy anyway. God cares about me. <laughs> Jumping from tree to tree Drinking from a stream Or just playing hide and seek The sunshine makes me smile But the lightning makes me squeak But this one thing I know God takes care of me There stood Twinkle all by herself. She was lost, cold, and scared in the dark forest. Bethlehem was nowhere in sight. She had no directions from God. She was just following her own plan. And suddenly, that plan wasn't looking any too good. Her faith that God would use her began to fade as doubts crept into her heart. She remembered what her mother had said. Twinkle, wait for God to lead you. She remembered all the discouraging things her jealous friends had said. You'll probably trip over the moon. Shine, ha! You couldn't twinkle your way out of a paper bag. She began to feel sorry for herself and complain. 
What am I doing here? God didn't send me down. I'm not so special after all. She began to feel cold and shiver, but she didn't realize that in her doubting, her light was beginning to flicker and grow dim. I'll bet God was sorry he chose me. And dimmer. I didn't ever have enough light anyway. And dimmer. Until you could hardly make out her outline against the night sky. It looked like it was all over for Twinkle. But God hadn't forgotten her. He knew that deep down inside Twinkle's heart, there was still a very tiny ray of light. When Twinkle felt that little bit of warmth, she began to ask God for forgiveness. Oh God, please forgive me for doing things my own way. I want to follow your plan. Please give me back my light to use for you. God loved her very much, and even as Twinkle was asking, a small light appeared on the horizon where the heavens meet the earth. It came flashing across the sky, closer and closer. It's the Star of Brightness. You can be brighter, a little whiter You can be lighter and brighter than me So what if you're a miner, you're still a shiner You can be brighter as brighter Harder a way of your own. You're not a beginner, you are a winner. What are you doing out here all alone? Oh, my brother, why can't you see? If you would, you know you should. You could be a bright and shining light like me. It's really true. You can be a bright and shining light like me. Then, as she barely touched Twinkle, she filled her with dazzling light again. Now you must be careful. Remember your responsibility. Yes, ma'am. I'll never forget again. Twinkle was so filled with joy at having her brilliance again and a second chance to work for God that she absolutely couldn't contain herself. She took the deepest breath she had ever taken, leaned back, and began to sing with all her might. I'm 
forgiven I just want to lean way back and shout I'm gonna shout She had ever hurled herself through space. Twinkle got herself back up into the heavens to wait for proper instructions. In no time at all, Twinkle was told her full assignment. She was to go to the east and travel slowly, making it possible for some very interested men to follow her. These men knew from studying the scriptures that when a new star appeared in the east, it was a sign that the most wonderful ruler the world would ever known was to be born. They were determined not to miss it. Twinkle took her mission very seriously. During the day, while the men and their camels were resting, she spent her time polishing her points and removing any tarnish so they couldn't miss him at night shining like a diamond in the sky. While Twinkle was guiding these eager and excited men, the beautiful thing that all of heaven had been talking about happened. God's perfect son was born in Bethlehem, in a stable in the hay. Mary and Joseph, his parents on earth, named him Jesus just as one of the special angels had told them. Did Twinkle and the wise men ever find Jesus? Oh yes! Twinkle did an excellent job. She did exactly what God told her. I play your tune on my guitar A lonely chorus as we sing On our way to find the king Twinkle got to Bethlehem. She hung right over the place where Jesus was. We had no trouble finding Jesus at all. Did you say we had no trouble finding Jesus? Are you one of the wise men? Yes, I'm one of the men who came from the east, led all the way by the little star's bright light. My friends and I brought gifts for God's son. We brought gold to show that he was a king, 
frankincense to show that he was holy, and myrrh to show that we understood he would have to die to accomplish his work here. We worship him gladly, for truly he was the king of the Jews and the light of this world. We understand that He came to earth to make it possible for Him to live forever in our hearts. If we invite Him in to do that, we become like the little star. The light that God puts in us can lead other people to the Savior too. Remember, if you have the light, you can shine for Jesus. If you have the light, you can shine for Jesus. <laughs>